we can pop over to the query tab. And this is where you can ask questions of, of the data. So I could ask a question like, should, you know, since we now have this, this newly released knowledge that just came out in the, in the last couple of weeks, uh, should I fine tune my LLM or is retrieval augmented generation? We'll ask Vectar that. Uh, and you can see the, the response here. So we get both the, the search results here, um, as well as a summary that Vectar has produced. And we can see, you know, based on the search results, uh, there was a comparison um, for retrieval augmentation generation or RAG uh, compared with uh, in knowledge injection um, with fine tuning and says both approaches have their merits. RAG is, has consistently outperformed fine tuning and incorporating new uh, and existing knowledge into LLMs. Which is our experience here at Vectar as well. So it's nice to see that it's backed up by by uh, uh, Microsoft research as well. Uh, and we can always tab into any of these specific results and sort of see where uh, any of that specific information came from. Um, now, I think that covers a lot of the the sort of really basic bits of how you get started in adding data uh, into Vectara. But you always have additional mechanisms. So you know, if you pop over. Um, uh, into this load data into Corpus under the data, you'll be able to see that we do have documentation. The documentation actually has an API playground that you can fiddle around with. Um, we have, you know, the ability obviously to upload files. Uh, if you're looking at building out some programmatic demos, um, you can also check out our GitHub uh, at github.com/vectara, and we have some getting started examples in here as well. So. Uh, you can find those. Those are linked to directly from um, the documentation here that's directly linked inside the, the console. Uh, but hopefully this helps you get started in adding data into Vectara, and we hope you have success. Thank you.